Now, with the very hot and humid weather that we have been having, it's been a breeding ground for those nasty biters, fleas. Joining us on Pet Corner is Pet Doctor's Rebecca Coote to look at how we can prevent them. Welcome back, Rebecca. Hi, thank you. Nice to have you here. Thanks. First up with fleas, um, I, I know that they can be very itchy mm. and, and annoying, but can they also be harmful? They can, so not just do they give a bite that makes the pet irritated, but they can also transmit across worms and some parasites that go into the blood that can actually make the pets really sick. Okay, so it's a lot more than just the itch there going is, on. There is. And I don't see for fleas on my pet, so I haven't treated them. Could they still have fleas? Sure, and the adult flea is just the tip of the iceberg, so each adult can lay up to 50 eggs per day. And a lot of the time you might not even see them, so the best thing is to treat regularly and treat everybody in the household. What if I don't see my pet itching? So cats are one that are a good hider of that. They don't itch so much, they groom more often. And we might not always see our dogs itching. They might have little spiky spots around their tail base or patches of fur missing, and that can be an indicator that fleas are bothering them and they are okay. itchy. When you said just before about treat everybody in the household, yes. you mean their pets? The pets, yes. We don't need to go treating the children. No, just the pets. So the cats and dogs can share fleas, so it's good to keep everyone in sync. Okay, because it's the thing with the flea eggs hatching too, and this yes. weather you walk into a house that's been closed for a while and the vibrations set them off don't they? That's right you can get a flea explosion so people do get bothered by them but they'll first off bite your pets and then if they're desperate they'll bite people so people think that they're not seeing fleas on them so the pets are okay. So how often should I treat my pets? Sure different products have different recommendations if you're not sure talk to your vet um, they have ones that are monthly ones that are three monthly um, but treating all year round and treating regularly is really important. So what if you're seeing you're seeing fleas on your pets but yes. they are being treated does that mean the treatment's not working? Sure and that's a common thing we see especially at the moment when there's a huge amount in the environment so for one it tells us that if you are up to date with your treatment that there's lots around the fleas will die after jumping onto a pet that's had a good product put on them and, and dosed within the right time frame um, and treating all of the animals in the household sometimes we need to flea bomb if we're getting to that high burden and making sure you're using the right dose range so sometimes we might not realize our dog is actually in the 30 to 40 kilo range we might be using a 20 to 30 and that's a common reason why it might not be working as well. Right does it make a difference say even a kilo or so say your dog's it, been yeah. treated for the five kilo and they're six kilos? It does it does so if you're going into a vet clinic that's an easy way to do it we can weigh your pets we can be the bad people to put it on or make them a meatball to pop the tablet in and we can make sure you're using the right product because there's different types out there. And also there is uh, areas that you think that the fleas are always just inside but they can be under the house they and in can. the grass as well can't that's they? right and at the moment it's so hot and humid that there's just a massive explosion out there so which would you say is the the better tablets or topical flea treatments there's good options in both um, tablets are really good for those animals who swim lots who have skin issues or on medicated shampoos I quite like them and I use them in my dogs because my kids love to give them cuddles so they get secondhand flea treatment if it's on their fur but the dogs and cats who are hard to give tablets to the topicals are really easy and we've got some that last monthly three monthly and there's one for dogs that lasts up to six months which wow. is great yeah you just got to make sure that you've got the weight right the weight right getting enough of yes, it. Yes, that's right. What happens if you accidentally give them a, a higher weight one? Can you give them too much? So there is recommended ranges, but there's huge safety profiles. If you're ever not sure if you might have done something that you think, oh, hang on, I've potentially given a bigger dose, yeah. contact your vet immediately and we can give you the best advice depending on what you've used and when you've put it on and, and if you're seeing anything you're worried about. Right, excellent. And it's a great time to buy now? Yes, it is. So to the end of March, Pet Doctors has 30% off all of their flea treatment range and you can also get it on Pet Post. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Always good advice. And for your chance to win a three-month supply of flea treatment for your cat or a six-month supply for your dog, thanks to our friends at Pet Post, you can go to the Cafe Facebook page and tell us what the discount is of flea treatment, which we just told you, and your pet's name.